let's start. Today we will see how to implement a MACD strategy in the TradingView Pine script. First, let's understand the strategy. When the MACD is above the signal line and the MACD is above the zero line, we will buy the stock. And when the MACD is below the signal line, we will exit the trade. Similarly, when the MACD is below the signal line and the MACD is below the zero line, we will short the stock. And when the MACD is above the signal line, we will exit the trade. Now, let's see the code. This is the strategy function with the name MACD strategy. Then, we have used the input.int function to accept the user input for the fast and slow lengths of the MACD and the signal line. Then, we have used the SMA function to calculate the fast and slow simple moving averages. Then, we have calculated the MACD and the signal line over here. Then we have plotted the MACD, the signal line, and the zero line. Now, if the MACD is above the signal line, and the MACD is above the zero line, we set the as long variable to 1, else we set it to 0. Similarly, if the MACD is below the signal line, and the MACD is below the zero line, we set the as short variable to 1, else we set it to 0. And for the stop loss, we use the stop long and stop short variables. After taking the long trade, if the MACD goes below the signal line, we set its stop loss here. And after taking the short trade, if the MACD goes above the signal line, we set its stop loss here. Now, we have used the strategy dot entry function. The first argument is the ID of the entry. The second argument is the direction of the trade. Here we are taking the long trade. The third argument is the number of shares that we want to trade. The fourth argument is the condition and we want to initiate the trade, so we have used the is long variable here. And the strategy dot position size variable denotes how many trades are currently active on the chart. So we keep its value to zero, because we want to initiate a trade only when there are no pending trades on the chart. If we don't use the strategy dot position size variable then, the chart would be full of various unnecessary trades. Then, we have used the strategy dot exit function. The first argument is the ID of the exit. The second argument is the ID of the entry. This will be useful if we have multiple different entries on the chart. The third argument is the quantity to exit. And the fourth argument is the stop loss or the exit condition. This is the long trade entry and exit. Similarly, here we have programmed the short trade entry and exit over here. Let's add this strategy to the chart. As you can see, when the MACD is above the signal line and the MACD is above the zero line, we have taken a long trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the MACD goes below the signal line, we have exited the trade. Similarly, when the MACD is below the signal line, and the MACD is below the zero line, we have taken a short trade with 100 shares of stock. And when the MACD goes above the signal line, we have exited the trade. An important note, in the trading view, the entry exit arrows are always shown on the next bar, because, the Pine script waits for that bar to completely close where the entry exit conditions satisfy, and then it shows the arrows on the next bar. You can check the strategy results in the strategy tester tab. So that's it. That's how you can implement a MACD strategy in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.